He stood there on the floor of the sculptor's studio, his eyes fixed on the man who was climbing higher and higher on the marble statue that towered above him. His lips curled as he heard the desperate pleading. You've got to give me a chance. My work is good, really good. Look at this figure, the light, the power of these lines. I tell you, there's no use climbing up there. My mind's made up. And this higher figure, look, it's like music. Music in stone. Music in stone. Murder in stone. <laughs> General alarm. Attention, all units. General alarm. Criminal at large. Repeat. Attention, general alarm. Attention, listeners. Criminal at large. Wanted for murder. $1,000 reward. Repeat. $1,000 reward. Attention, all listeners. Criminal at large. Criminal at Large, radio's newest, most exciting mystery show. A complete half-hour mystery play, and then a thrilling nationwide manhunt with a chance for you, the listener, to win $1,000 for the capture of Criminal at Large. Listen first for drama, action, excitement. But listen, too, for the clues scattered throughout the play. Clues that can bring you the reward of $1,000 in cash. Immediately following tonight's broadcast of Criminal at Large, somewhere in the United States, a person answering the exact description of the criminal in the play will begin a seven-day tour of the nation, stopping in towns and cities, perhaps your town, your city. Remember, the clues will be scattered throughout the play itself. Listen carefully. Watch for a description of height. Age, color of hair, clothes he is wearing, identifying marks, habits, mannerisms, the type of place in which he is most likely to be found. The criminal at large will not resist capture. When you find him, he will quickly admit his identity and arrange for immediate payment to you of $1,000. If he is not found before next Friday night, the reward will be increased to $2,000 for next week's fugitive with an additional $1,000 being added each week until you, the listener, discovers the criminal at large. And now the play. You'll enjoy it whether or not you're interested in the $1,000 reward. But you'll enjoy it more if you play the detective game All America is Playing. Remember, listen for the clues that can bring you $1,000 for the capture of criminal at large. There in his studio, Greg felt almost like a god. Those marble figures towering high above him, his hands had created those figures, given them warmth, almost life. To the 30-year-old sculptor, this was the hour of triumph. That huge memorial group, it was a dream completed. A dream that started the day Ricky had given him the commission. He should have known Ricky wasn't giving him anything. He'd never given him anything. Ricky hated Greg. Hated him because Ruth loved him. Ruth was the only thing Ricky had ever wanted, and he couldn't get. And he wasn't a good loser. No, anything Greg got from Ricky, he paid for. This time, the price tag was... death. Yes, old Franz's death. The huge block of cement supporting the tall marble statue. Franz's body was in that block. Franz, whom Greg loved and who he killed. And that was only part of it. Part of the horrible thing began when Franz came to the studio to tell Greg that the plan for a statue to be erected in a central square had yeah, been approved. Greg, the committee has approved the memorial, even appropriated the money. It's to be in marble and to be done by a sculptor of this state. Oh, Franz, if they'd name me... That victory group of mine, think of it done in marble. Massive stone and power. Uh, wait, Greg. A committee is to choose the sculptor. A committee headed by 
Ricky Thorne. Ricky? But why? Why? Ricky's no artist. He has money, Craig. Money and influence. Well, maybe the rest of the committee will... Oh, what's the use of pretending? Ricky will see I don't get it just as he's done before. I think you are wrong, Craig. Ricky wants to help you. Even with your plan to build an art museum, he helps you. Oh, helps me. What he does. He helped raise almost $15,000. Even leaves the money in your care until the building can be stopped. Sure, because he knew what it'd do to me. Not having enough to live on, sitting here without a dime to buy stone, without the tools that I need. And all the while having that money, money I can't touch. Oh, I don't think Ricky meant that. No, no, nobody ever thinks Ricky means that. He's clever, all right. Clever and cruel. Oh, Greg, it's Ron. Oh, wait till you hear. Oh, hear what? With the state memorial, it's been approved. Greg, do you realize what it means? Yes, I do. Another chance for Ricky to knife me in the back. Oh, Greg, Ricky's with me. He's parking his car, and he has wonderful news. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, how sorry he'll be that I didn't get the commission. How he worked for me, how he pleaded with the rest of the committee. No, Ruth, there's no use. Hiya, Greg. Ruth, tell you the news? She told us only... Wait a minute, France, wait a minute. Let Ricky tell it. He enjoys this, don't you, Ricky? A chance to watch me squirm a little. Now, wait a minute, old man. Wait a minute. Give me a chance. Go ahead, go ahead. Tell me why I wasn't picked as the sculptor. But you were picked. Here. These are the official papers. You mean... I mean you've been commissioned to do that victory group of yours. In marble. Couldn't be. But it was... Everything Greg had ever wanted, all his plans, his dreams, handed to him by Ricky. Greg tried to take it in. Tried to shut out the little voice that was beating against his brain. Don't trust him. Ricky hates you. He wouldn't give you this. He wouldn't make it easier for you to marry Ruth. Watch out for him. But there were the official papers commissioning Greg to do the memorial. Ricky couldn't stop that. Nothing could stop it. This was it for Greg. The start of everything. Of horror and violence and murder. How Ricky must have laughed as Greg plunged eagerly into preparations. But it was like being a new person. He was no longer an unknown struggling artist. Now he was the Gregory Hunt commissioned to do a quarter of a million dollar memorial. How simple it was for him to arrange for credit for everything. And in the months that followed, the group slowly took form, became even greater than Greg had dared to dream. Even Franz approved, good old Franz, the most exacting of teachers. Franz looked at the work, smiling in pleasure as he said, Yeah, Craig, it is good. (laughs) I am proud of you. But always, I knew your hands held the key to beauty. Oh, oh, wait now. What about all those times you made me destroy a model just when I was sure it was perfect? Training, Craig. Training, so that now you can do a great thing like this. But you must be careful, Craig. The size of this. So tall it is. Yes, I know. I'm going to brace it with steel rods in the back. You see those two forms? There'll be cement blocks to hold the rod. Yeah, good. And then later the bronze base will give added support. But you should put the rods up now. It's just that I hate to take the time. The the days seem too short as it is. (laughs) Like a man with a sweetheart, no time for other things. No wonder they say sculptors are a little mad. Passing of time, the changing of seasons, they meant nothing to Greg. All that mattered were the figures emerging from the marble. Finally, it was time to order delivery of the bronze vase. Up till then, Ricky hadn't even visited the studio, but he showed up that day and seemed strangely interested in the matter of the bronze vase. His voice was very casual. Oh, uh, Greg, about that bronze vase, won't it cost quite a bit? Mm, yes, $12,000. But it's all right. You see, Ricky, having this commission makes it easy. The Atlas Company said not to worry about payment until I was paid. The Atlas Company? Uh, that's where you're getting the bronze? Mm-hmm. I'm going down there now. Why not come along? Oh, well, thanks. I uh, I have an appointment. Oh, well, wait, though. At least you have time to see how the work's going. Hey, let me show no, you. No, 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 Greg. I, I'm in a hurry, really. Some other time. 
Greg watched Ricky walk out through the door. Suddenly, he had that same feeling of danger, of warning. Something about the way Ricky had looked, the casual way he had spoken. Greg shrugged away the thought, pulled his light-colored trench coat over his brown suit, and went to see about delivery of the bronze vase for the statue. At the Apollos Company, the clerk seemed courteous as ever. Why, uh, yes, Mr. Hunt, the vase is all ready for you. A magnificent piece of work. Oh, fine, fine. How soon can it be delivered? Why, immediately, of course. Well, that is, <laughs> after the uh, payment. Payment? Well, yes. $12,037. That includes delivery, of course. Oh, but I've made arrangements to pay for the base when I get my check for the memorial. Oh, huh. I'm afraid there's been a misunderstanding. No, no, I, I made it quite clear that... Wait, uh, may I see the manager? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Hunt, but it was the manager who instructed me. The base cannot be delivered until we receive payment. Payment in full. <laughs> Why had they suddenly closed off his credit? Greg had made the mistake of forgetting Ricky hated him. Why, he even went to him for help. As always, Ricky was polite, polite but regretful. Oh, I'm awfully sorry, Greg, if there were any way I could help but you. But, Ricky, there is a way. It's only $12,000, and you know the fee I'm to get for the memorial? Yeah, that's just it. I do know. I'm on the committee that appointed you. That has to pass on your work when it's done. But that wouldn't make any difference oh, about... But it would make a difference. Look, this is a state project, and that means politics. If they found out that I'd loaned you money, they'd charge collusion, cancel the whole thing. But, Ricky, I've got to get that money. I've got to. But Greg couldn't get the money. Every door that had been wide open was suddenly closed. He gave up. Sat there in his studio like a half-dead person, staring at the monument towering 60 feet above him. The monument that meant everything in the world to him that might never be finished. And then again, that little voice started beating against his brain. That money, the $15,000 you're holding for the art museum, it's in your name. You could repay it from your fee. No one would ever know. It would be months before the material for the museum would be available. Yes, he'd have plenty of time. How simple it was. Maybe they're always simple, the things that lead to murder. They didn't question Greg at the bank. He hurried back to the studio, called the Atlas Company, and told them he'd be right down with the money. But just as he hung up, old Franz walked into the studio. Oh, hi, Franz. I'm sorry I'm just on my way out. No time to waste these days, hmm? I see also, no time yet to put up those steel rods. Greg, if that should fall... Oh, don't worry, it's all right. Everything's all right. Mm. Yesterday, there was no hope in all the world. <laughs> well, that was yesterday. Ah, the company changes its mind, eh? The bronze base. They trust you for it after all. Well, they don't have to. Oh, look, I'm paying cash for it. Greg, all that money, where did it come from? Ricky? No, no, I, I borrowed it. Yes, I borrowed it. At the bank, I, uh, I used the marble for security. But the marble is not paid for. Greg, look at me. Where is that money from? Well, I told you, the bank, they... Oh, what difference does it make? Greg, the truth. You must tell me the truth. Well, I tell you, it doesn't matter. It's just for a few weeks. They're not ready to start the museum, and by that time... Greg, I'll be no. Able... That money is not yours. Well, it's in my care. I'll put it back, Franz. It's just a loan... Look, friends, I've got to. I've got to finish this work. It's my whole life. It's everything. Yeah, and that is why you can't. Beauty is not a thing only of hands and chisels. If you did this, it would show. They would be ugly. No, there wouldn't. There wouldn't. The group's almost done. I'll have time to... No. Hey, friends, wait. Friends, where are you going? To Ruth. You will listen to her, and she will stop you because she loves you. Oh, Ruth won't understand. She think I was no. stealing it. I just... Friends, wait. <laughs> no, I do it for you, Greg. To stop a bear. You're not going to tell Ruth. You no. can't stop no. me now. Nobody's going to stop no. me now. Greg, then let me go. Let me go. I said you're not going to. I told you not to, friends. Friends, speak to me. I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't... Franz! Franz, you're... You're dead. You have just...
just heard the first act of tonight's play on Criminal at Large. Remember, immediately following this broadcast, a man answering the exact description of the sculptor in this play will start on a coast-to-coast tour of the nation, stopping in towns and cities along the way. If you recognize that person, he will immediately admit his identity and arrange for payment to you of $1,000 in cash. We'll continue with tonight's play in just a moment. And now back to Criminal at Large. A young sculptor, Gregory Hunt, needing money to complete a memorial statue which was to be his masterpiece, embezzled funds left in his care. Surprised in this act by his old art instructor, Franz, Greg had struggled with the old man. In his fury, he'd struck Franz with a heavy chisel. And now the old instructor lies dead on the studio floor. They wouldn't believe it was an accident. They call it murder. If only he could find some way to... But wait. There was a way. The cement. The forms were ready for the huge cement blocks into which the rods were to be fastened to support the statue until it was in its permanent base. All Greg had to do was mix the cement and pour both blocks. They'd look the same. No one would know that in one of them was Franz's body. Greg waited two days for the cement to harden. Not answering the door, not sleeping, just sitting there waiting. Afraid to look at that cement block. Afraid that in some way he'd be able to see Franz. His body held upright in the cement, his eyes open, staring. And then the second night he fell into an exhausted sleep. It was 9.30 the next morning when he was awakened by someone at the door. Oh. Who is it? Oh, it's me, Greg. Ruth. Well, I've been wondering what... Well, Greg, what's the matter? Have you been sick? No, I... I fell asleep sitting up last night. Oh, but you look so... Greg, your hand's all bandaged. I... I cut it on the marble. It's my left hand. It doesn't matter. Well, of course it matters. Oh, Greg, you look so tired. You're killing yourself with this work. Yes, but it's almost done. Oh, oh Greg, and it's so beautiful. But... What's wrong? I... Nothing. I... Well, maybe it's just because it's so big. Looming so far above us. But just for a second, I felt a chill. As though... As though what? Well... As though there was something. Somebody watching. Oh, Greg, there's nothing wrong, is there? I mean... Well, of course there's nothing wrong. Who's that? Did someone come with you? Oh, no, I came alone. Why? Were you expecting someone? The man who stood there chewed sleepily on a toothpick. Greg knew what he was as surely as though he'd worn his detective's badge on his lapel. The man walked in, slowly looking around the studio. Uh, you happen to know where I can find Fran Shukin? Well, Fran, is there something wrong with Who are you? Uh, she happens to be a friend of mine. Now, what is it you want? Nothing. Just looking for Fran Shukin. His landlady's kind of worried. Seems nobody's seen him for a couple of days. She said he was a good friend of some blonde-haired artist in this building. It's you, ain't it? Yes. Well, that is, France and I are good friends... But I haven't seen it for several days. Uh, hey, aren't you scared this thing will fall over on you? It can't. It's braced by those rods and then anchored in cement. I just poured those blocks this week. Yeah, I noticed she got cement splattered all over your shoes. Good-sized blocks, ain't they? Well, they have to be. That marble weighs tons. Where right, if it ever fell... Yeah. It... Well, let us know if you hear anything from Fran Shilton. Oh. <sighs> What a strange person. Greg, the, the cold way he looked at you. Oh, Greg, what's wrong? Don't let me alone, will you? i got enough worries trying to get this work done, having to worry about materials, about money. But I thought those things were taken care of. Well, Ricky... Oh, sure, Ricky said. He doesn't know what it is to be broke to. Why awake nights worrying about pennies? Oh, Greg, I didn't know. Well, you shouldn't have to worry about money. It isn't fair. I'm going to do something about it. You're an artist, Dad. You shouldn't have to be bothered with that thing. Why didn't you tell me before? Detective will be back. 
Nothing you can work out. That doesn't matter. All that matters is my work. Finally, Ruth left the studio. Greg went to the Atlas Company, paying the embezzled money for the bronze base. And again, he plunged into his work, forgetting everything except the creation of beauty. And it was beauty. To Greg, that made it worth it. Yes, worth even Franz's body inside that block of cement. Then the detective came again. He pushed past Greg into the studio and leaned against the block in which Franz's body was hidden. I just dropped by, still looking for that old guy, Franz Schuken. You never heard anything from him, huh? No, I, I told you I spent most of my time working. How come you weren't in when I called yesterday? Well, I have to spend hours at the library on research at museums. It's part of my work. Yeah? You about done with this, huh? Uh, yes, almost. Uh, in fact, the committee will be here this week to accept it. After that, it'll be moved to the state park. Those blocks of cement, too? No. You see, it'll be on a permanent foundation. It won't need those supporting rods then. Uh-huh. Those rods don't look very strong. They're only temporary. Yeah? And what are you going to do with the cement blocks? I, uh, I don't know. Well, give us a ring if you hear anything about Fran shoot. Greg knew he'd be back. He always came back. But in a few days, it wouldn't matter. The blocks would be gone by then. Greg would have them hauled out to where the city was filling in that swamp. Maybe then Greg could forget them and the thing hidden inside. At last, it was the day for the committee to inspect Greg's work. He waited there in the studio alone. Only a few more hours and he'd be free from tenseness, fear, waiting. Ricky, come in, come in. Where are the others? Others? Oh, the committee. Well, you see, they, uh, well, they sort of agreed to leave the final decision up to me. Oh, oh, fine, fine. Uh, Ricky, I, I haven't said anything, but I, I, I guess you know how much it's meant to me, all your help. Oh, uh, skip it, I haven't done anything. Well, shall we have a look at your work? <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> yes, I know. In fact, you made almost a point of not seeing it. Well, I wanted to be impartial. And if I approved your work, it'd be on merit, not friendship. Oh, well, don't worry, Ricky. It's good. Not just because it's mine. Sometimes it seems as though it weren't mine. As though it belonged to someone greater than I. <laughs> you sound like you did in college. <laughs> you used to say I was an artistic phony. Yeah, and Ruth used to jump all over me. We've come a long way since then, haven't we, Greg? Yes, uh, Ricky, I, I don't want to hurry you, but I'm... Your whole future rests on my words. Ruth should be here, huh, Greg? Uh, yes. Uh, now, Ricky, if you want to come She'd over here... She'd be on I'll... your side, wouldn't she, Greg? She was always on your side. Well, let's not go into that, Ricky. It doesn't make any difference now. Besides... Maybe it will. At least it'll be easier for you, having her. Easier? Yes. You know how Ruth is, as far as you're concerned. Failing with this won't make any difference to her. Failing? But I haven't failed. Well, Ricky, it's the best thing I've done, better than I ever dreamed. Yeah, I know you've tried. Ricky, you're talking as though... As though I might decide it isn't acceptable? But you can't. The commission, you gave it to me yourself. Yes, because I wanted to help you. No, no, you wouldn't. Remember you... the terms of the commission, Greg. The finished work had to be approved. Oh, Ricky, even if you hate Why me... Why should I hate you? This is business, Greg. And you... You're going to... I'm sorry. Sorry. Sure, of course. And I was fool enough to believe you. You never meant to accept it, did you? Oh, I know it's tough. Particularly when you've tied up so much money in it. It's going to be a problem, isn't it? Paying for the marble and that bronze base. That was it. Ricky had done this, done it all. Putting the museum fund in Greg's care then stopping his credit at the Atlas Company. He'd known Greg would use that money. Then afterwards, when the work was refused, Greg would be exposed as a thief. And then that little voice started again. Don't let him stand there laughing at you. It's his fault you stole the money that you accidentally killed, Franz. He should be killed, too. But this time, it wasn't going to be an accident. This time, it would look like an accident. The huge weight of that marble towering above him. But wait. 
Ricky mustn't suspect. He had to make Ricky think he was still begging for another chance. Please, please, Ricky, you've got to listen. If you'd, if you'd look at my work, it's good, Ricky. Look, it's, it's really good. Greg, there's no use climbing up there. My mind's made up. I'm sorry. Look but... at it. This figure, Ricky. Look, the life, the power of these lines. I'm down, Greg. I tell you, there's no use. And this higher figure. Look, Ricky, look. It's like music. Music in stone. Music in stone. Murder in stone. Craig could see Ricky's face far below, his lips curling in contempt. Now Greg was near the metal plate which the steel rods were fastened to. He lifted the heavy mallet, judged the blow carefully. The bolts loosened. The massive figures trembled. Then they began to lean. Ricky was trying to see what Greg was doing. Greg kept pounding. Now the plate was loose. The tons of marble hung in delicate dread balance. And then started over. Greg forced his voice to a scream. Don't move! Look, Ricky! Let it go! Greg had done it. Ricky was dead, pinned beneath the huge blocks of marble that had thundered 60 feet to the floor below. Greg let himself down from the scaffolding. And then the door was opening. Greg! Greg! Oh. As I turned in from the street, I heard the crash. And... Oh, Greg. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't look. Don't look. Ricky was standing in front of her when, when the rods gave way. He's dead. Oh, Greg. And this was to be such a happy day. I had good news for you. Good news? Yes. It's fun for the museum. I, I talked to the others. The money's yours now. The, the money's mine? Yes. We didn't know you needed funds, Greg. When I explained, they insisted that you take the money. The museum can wait. words echoed against Greg's mind. The money was his. If they'd only done that when Franz was still alive, when... But wait, if the money was his, then he wasn't an embezzler. Yes, Greg, it was better than ever, wasn't it? Because Ricky couldn't stop you now. Ricky was dead. Ah, but you had to play it carefully. Call the police first, then. But you didn't have to call them. You turned, and there in the doorway was the detective, his cold eyes taking in the chaos of the studio. What happened? What's going on in there? The statue. What you warned me about. The steel rods pulled loose, and they came... Hey, wait a minute. You got somebody, huh? Who was it? Ricky. Ricky Thorne. Hmm. Accident, huh? Yes, yes. He was in front of it. I shouted to him, but he didn't move fast enough, and they yeah. came... Yeah? You mind if I look around? Just curious. I can see how it happened, all right. Oh, Greg, what a horrible man. Those cold eyes and... Oh, Greg, wait, where are you going? I've got to get out. I can't stand it. Oh, Greg, wait. Hey, where did he go? Oh, I don't know. He's completely unstrung by all this. Such a horrible thing. Yeah, pretty bad, all right. You know, for a minute, I couldn't figure out that accident story of his. Oh, it's not a story. Why, Greg might have been killed himself. Maybe that would have been easier. Easier than what they'll do to him up in that little room in the pen. Penitentiary? What are you talking about? I'm talking about murder. We won't have any trouble picking him up. we got a perfect description of him. We know where he spends his time. Oh, but you're out of your mind. It, it, it was an accident. Maybe. Doesn't matter. See, I've been looking around behind what's left of the statue. And there was an accident. One that your friend hadn't counted on. What do you mean? Ma, I'll show you. That ain't too bad. Just like he was sitting there in a the cement chair. Like who was sitting there? Ma, I'll show you. See, when that statue fell, a big hunk of the marble fell over backwards. Well, what's that got to do with... And it fell right on this cement block, cracked it wide open. You see, uh, I finally found that Franz Schuken guy we've been looking for. At this moment, somewhere in the United States, a person answering the exact description of Gregory Hunt is beginning a seven-day tour of the nation. $1,000 reward. Criminal at large. Gregory Hunt wanted for murder. Sculptor by profession. 30 years old. 5 feet 11. Bandage on left hand. 
cement stains on shoes, wearing brown suit, white trench coat, frequents the vicinity of public libraries, parks, museums, civic buildings. $1,000 reward. Yes, $1,000 reward to you, the listener, for the capture of this week's criminal at large. You've heard his description, the places he's most apt to be. When you find him and say to him, are you the criminal at large, he will quickly admit his identity and arrange for you to receive $1,000 in cash for the capture of criminal at large. The person portraying the criminal at large and the entire operation of radio's most exciting mystery game is under heavy bond with Lloyds of London and conducted under the constant supervision of the world-famous Burns Detective Agency. Tune in next week for the next thrilling mystery play in this exciting series. Hear a report on the capture of Gregory Hunt. Hear the new clues for the next week's Criminal at Large. Remember a new play each Friday night and a new reward of $1,000 for the capture of Criminal at Large.